Alright, so this is going to be really, really simple, and the best part about this is that you don't need a pattern. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out two rectangular pieces the same size. You want these to be about four times the width of your shoulders on top, so it's going to be very, very wide. And then you want this to be about shoulder length down to ankle length. If you want your um, dress to be shorter, then you're going to do more of a shoulder length to knee length or shoulder to high water, however you want to do this. And it's not that important that you add in a lot of seam allowance or anything. Just keep in mind that if you want a really long hem that you're going to need more fabric. And then you're going to make two pieces that are also rectangular, but a bit smaller. And these are going to be for your sleeves. This is the body, these are the sleeves. And you're going to make two of these as well. And for these, you want these to be about a foot to three feet wide. It just depends on how much floof you want in your arms, how much extra fabric you want there to be. And then you're also gonna make this about shoulder length to about wrist length. And then you're going to wanna add in a few more inches for a casing or a hem for the bottom of um, your sleeve by your wrist. And then, um, yeah, that, that's it for that. I don't know what else I was gonna say. Okay, so what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to take that piece and you're going to go ahead and you're gonna cut out little armhole slits. So essentially that's not fabric anymore, that's, it's gone and make those a little more even. This is just a demonstration. It's not perfect, I'm sorry. And that's what you want it to look like. Both of your pieces of fabric, you can just lay them one on top of the other. And then you're gonna take your sleeve fabric, have one on each side, of course, and you're just gonna go ahead and cut a side, um, a bit out like that. Now with this fabric, you want it to be two separate pieces, one cut on top of the other. And then with this, you would like there to be a fold right here. I didn't explain that earlier. So you want to fold it right there and then cut. And you want to do that for both sides. So unless you have a special fabric that's going to have a print or something on the front or an easy facing certain way, you can just cut out two of this exact same sleeve right there. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to sew these two U's together. So you'll put your two right sides of the fabric together and I'll just sew a U here and you'll sew a U here. Essentially, you'll get something that looks like this. Maybe a little more there. Something kind of like that. And you're just gonna have this extremely wide neckline because remember this fabric here, or this fabric, or that fabric is all the same piece, was about four times the width of our shoulders. So what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to cut this right here. So cut, 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 cut and you wanna open it up like a jacket, and then you're gonna to wanna to put in some seams along here, very, very long seams, and you're going to want to gather this until you have, um, until you've gathered this down about four times because you want this to be the new, I guess, circumference of your shoulders. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to sew in a Um, sorry, I'm trying to draw and talk at the same time, which apparently I am not talented at. So, oh man, again, this doesn't look right. Sorry. It's just a demonstration to kind of help you understand a bit better because the pictures and videos I took are confusing. Um, anyway though, so this will still be cut open and you're just going to sew in a, a band all the way around. And then you just want to keep it open here because you have your jacket that's cut open at this point. And then you're just gonna sew, 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 sew all that down. And you're just gonna put in a little ribbon here. Tie a cute little bow in the front. And then you're just gonna sew this up. And then all you'll have to do is finish the hemline here, put in some elastic or drawstrings, or just hem the sleeves if you want really long sleeves, whatever you prefer to do. And you're gonna do that on both the sleeves. And that is it. This is super, super simple and I hope that this little mess of an illustration helped you out a bit. So 
I had gone ahead and I had thrown this piece of paper out with my lovely little illustrations here. There's even a little tear, the poor thing. And I realized that I forgot to mention a very, very important, important step. Before you sew these two U's together, you want to go ahead and sew up. You want to cut out the, the U's and then you want to sew up the sides. And then on your folded edge here, you want to go ahead and sew up this side. The folded edge, don't need to worry about that. And then you want to put the right sides together and sew the U's together. So that's very important step to do before just sewing the U's together. I guess you could try sewing the U's together and then sewing one long straight stitch. Um, but I feel like it's a much easier to do just two straight stitches and then put the U's together.